Welcome everyone to Talking Brick, my series on the channel in which I answer your questions about things related to bricks and, well, anything else. Today I'm going to be asking you some questions too, so stay tuned for those ones to make sure that you get those comments in down below. But for now, let's start off with our few questions for the day. And our first question of the day comes from one of our channel favorites, Jacob Ginger Hoffman, who asks, what's one thing you wish Mega, besides distribution and Lego, would do better in order to make their products better or to change to make their products better? And starting off on the Lego side, I want them to actually change in a way where they would just simplify again. In front of me, I have a Jedi Interceptor from, I think, 2005, and the latest Jedi Starfighter for Obi-Wan. These two sets both represent similar things, and so I think they're probably a good comparison to see just the complexity of the new one versus the old one. Now, I think that there's a point of diminishing returns here where it's great that we have new designs that use more pieces, that are using smaller pieces to get those more minuscule details, but at a certain point, I feel like simplicity for Lego is actually better. The overall shape and design of this Starfighter, it looks great, but you notice like the gaps between the wings, which weren't there in 2002. That is a good review that I have up here. Go watch that one, because that would kind of help you figure out where I'm going with this. But also just the complexity of this one, there's some things that Lego still is adding more of, like stickers. And I think if LEGO were to simplify just a little bit, they might be able to give us something that costs a little bit less, but looks almost the exact same. As far as the Mega side goes, taking distribution out, we need more sets just in general. Mega used to release so many sets a year. I mean, looking on the Mega Constructs webpage, you can find after I think 2011, set after set after set of a ton of different Halo Mega sets that were released for the fans that were honestly pretty awesome. And I really don't get why Mega is not doing that. Even with the Pokemon line, which is arguably their best line right now, as in it's really the only one you can find on shelves, they still don't release that many new sets every year. Or oftentimes it's like a new wave of Pokemon is still Charmander, Bulbasaur, and Squirtle. On the Lego side, we get set releases like every few months. And sometimes it's like a couple sets. Sometimes it's a good amount of sets. But Mega is just not really releasing their sets very often and we don't get a whole lot. I also think a problem with Mega 2 is the actual marketing of the sets. Most of the time, I think the information that I get for Mega isn't from Mega themselves. It's not from their own Instagram page or from Mega sources. It's from other people who found leaks or rumors or the images popped up on Amazon. And I think obviously that happens with Lego too, but when that happens with Lego, we see stuff like the trailer for the Tantive 4 hallway set. That's just incredible. And for some reason, Mega just doesn't do anything like that. We don't get marketing for these sets really. And if it is, it's it's kind of bland and, and boring. And our next question comes from S Breaker who asks, what is your favorite Jedi Starfighter and favorite Interceptor? My favorite Starfighter is actually the one that came out, I think in 2011, it's like Sesai Teens or Tins, however you say that. Starfighter, and it's all green. And I just really like that green coloration of the Starfighter. It's something that I don't really have think we've ever seen much of, and it's really cool. It's got great minifigure selection, and that's my favorite Jedi Starfighter, at least from LEGO Star Wars. My favorite Interceptor is definitely this one. I just love this Interceptor. The whole design not only is classic, but it just brings me a ton of nostalgia because I just remember seeing the back of this thing when you're flying in the LEGO Star Wars Complete Saga. And so... Yeah, that's my favorite Interceptor for sure. Before we get into our last question, I have a question for all of you guys in the comments down below. I would love to hear your thoughts on May 4th releases for LEGO Star Wars or just LEGO in general. I'm planning on going to the LEGO store on May 4th, but I'm not really sure what time I want to go and how exactly I want to do that to make sure that I get those May 4th promos, which are hopefully going to be pretty good this year. I don't usually like to go to the LEGO store and wait in line and... I don't really want to do that here, but I think that that might be my best option to get the sets on the day of release versus like ordering them online the night of. So I'd love to hear your thoughts down below of if you've ever done that before, what your experience was like and what you would suggest doing in the future so that I would be able to do that in a more smooth way. Thanks for helping me out and doing that in the comments down below. But for our last question, it comes from Mech Mech who asks, what Halo Mega Block set have you always wanted to get or had your eye on and never had the chance to get it? And that's actually an interesting question because I have most of the Halo Mega Block sets. I've been collecting them since 2009, but I did take a break from like the middle of 2016 all the way to like 2019 with the 10th anniversary sets. So I actually missed a lot of some of the best Halo Mega sets ever, which is sad, but I've been collecting them over time as I've been getting back into it. And my 
favorite set that I really wish I could have, but I just really haven't been able to find, at least for a good price, is the Wolverine Charge. The UNSC Wolverine Charge came out in 2017. is such a beautiful Wolverine. I have the original one, but it just it does not compare to the new one. Um, and the new one's based off Halo Wars 2, I think. I don't love the figures in it, really, but I think the set as a whole looks so, so very good. And it's built up just the way that I the original one should have been. Uh, and I really wish that I had that set, but I just can't really find it these days. And that's going to be our questions wrapping up for today. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this Talking Brick episode. Don't forget to leave your questions in the comments down below to make sure that you get featured in next week's episode. I'd love to hear as many questions as you got, and I'll try to answer as many as I can. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. Peace.